So, as every great story starts, I'm Pablo with BND Gaming and today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Galaxies, released June 26, 2003 to much critical acclaim. It spawned three expansions through 2005, published by LucasArts and developed by Sony Entertainment Online. Eventually, mismanagement resulted in two major updates covering the long-term potential of the game. The first one was a combat upgrade in May 2005, which fixed some niggling player issues, but also standardized a lot of weapons and items, taking away many advantages and benefits that players had been driving towards to obtain. The second patch, the fabled NGE, or New Game Enhancements in November 2005, which essentially rebooted the game into a free-for-all. The skill building system had been changed to a leveling system, changing the very core of what made the galaxy unique, and now you could even be a Jedi from the very start of the game. Thinking back before NGE, becoming a Jedi was a real trial, from players posting what worked for them to become force sensitive in the locations where the force ghosts of Obi-Wan had appeared, etc. The slow grind for quests to level a Jedi it was exciting and all players start working together towards a common goal. Alliance and truce between the light and dark side of the force were forged. Those were exciting times. But the new game enhancements took it all away in a blip. The servers eventually shut down in December 15, 2011. But then, as one of the staff said, the SWGMU project began December 24, 2004. It all started because many players didn't like the direction the game was being taken. So if we wanted to play the game we loved again, the way it was originally meant to be played, we would have to remake it ourselves. Now. A couple of days ago, I reinstalled the game on my PC and oh boy, was that exciting. Now, I know a lot of people may say that the graphics didn't age well compared to most of the new MMOs out there, or even compared to World of Warcraft and others that have received constant updates, but the truth is, it doesn't really matter. That game is one of the best MMOs I've ever played, and not only because the game itself, but because of the community and game mechanics. It was a game that it could be anything, from a Jedi to a smuggler or just plain simple dancer at the cantina. It was a game about having fun and becoming whoever you want to be in the Star Wars universe. While the developers haven't been able to add Jump to Light Speed just yet, but have been working on it for years, it's really a fun game. But you're probably asking, is Star Wars Galaxy Simulator legal? Well, the answer is, the never change answer is simply yes. Understand, there is a fine line which SWGMU is yet to cross. Since SWGMU doesn't distribute any of Sony Online Entertainment's copyright material, it does not break any copyright laws. SWGMU works very hard to stay within its legal right to produce its software and will do its best to never include copyright material or infringe any software patents. So, just so you guys understand, those guys had to actually build this game from the ground up. What pretty much had to do with, you know, 
look at all the code and everything and really remake it in a sense. So one of the reasons they're able to do that is something that people today take for granted. A lot of the information about the game nowadays, it's run from the servers. Back in the day when some people had 56k internet, the game had to literally run from your computer. And the information you got from the servers was pretty basic stuff. So that's why they're able to do that. And the game is free to play and have no microtransactions. Pretty much like games are supposed to be. So guys, I'm just saying, if you want a really good game with great community, even if small, it's about a thousand players on the biggest server, go check it out. I'll leave the description below and maybe even support their work. Um, they do accept donations to be able to keep running the servers. Um, they do not have direct links for you to download their turns because, well, that would put them into the whole breaking, you know, software patents. So, but you know, if you guys want to sell the high seas, that's up to you. I would look up in the forums, some people may or may not have some links where you guys can find something. But even their website, they will actually tell you to go to eBay, you can find the game on eBay uh, to buy the actual copies. So yeah, go check it out. So I hope you guys liked this video, let me know if there is any game you'd like me to check it out. Also let me know if you guys would like me to do a video showing the gameplay a little bit more and uh, maybe how to start a character, all that stuff. Don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and think about subscribing for more gaming and entertainment news, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.